It's not just Twitter. There are several other Bay Area tech companies announcing that they will be laying off, in some cases, hundreds of employees. Crown Forbes Hazik Madian talked with a pair of economic experts today to get their perspectives on these layoff announcements. Layoffs announced in the Bay Area tech sector ranging between 13 to 18 percent of the workforce at companies like Rideshare Lyft, payment processing platform Stripe, business technology solutions Open Door, and digital banking Chime. Bay Area Council Economic Institute Executive Director Jeff Belisario's perspective on these developments. So I, I think this is a continuation of the wave of layoffs we've been seeing, particularly in tech. Uh, many companies now pulling back in anticipation of a recession next year. And I think the, the thing to keep in mind is that many of these companies grew quickly over the course of the pandemic. So a, a bit of this is course correction. It's also the case that stock valuations are down and there's just not as much money to go into growth focused strategies anymore. The chair of the economics department at San Jose State University, Matthew Holian, talks about other potential factors leading to these tech layoffs. To be honest, you know, I think it, it could be a mix of the recession, but also changes in in, in work modalities and, and whether people need to be employed in, in the Bay Area as much. So that's what's interesting to me as someone who studies economics. What types of positions are these typically? Well, I think you're, you're seeing potentially some people that are close to retirement. Some of these may be entry level. I think it, it's tough to really know from the, the announcements made today. Economic experts say these job losses are occurring in a labor market that remains tight and how quickly those laid off return to the workforce is something they'll be keeping an eye on. That's a key piece to watch here because depending on where you are in our region, unemployment's about 2%. So there are not many people on the sidelines today. So there's still a lot of competition for that talent. Um, so we'll be watching, you know, are, are those people that are being laid off today and this week, are they quickly finding work or is this a, you know, a longer term uh, higher unemployment scenario for our region? Hazik Madyun, Cron4 News.